think I'm running out of gas. I can't even imagine how hard it must be out there. How frightened it must be. But you must remember, you aren't alone. Everyone here stands behind you. And we're all praying for you. Thank you. No, no, thank you. I don't get many opportunities to practice my sermons anymore. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. Another supply drop? How do they know where we are? This is weird. I hope we're not stealing from someone. But I guess they know where to find us. I'm there. I'll take a look around. I think I've seen enough for now. Talk to the boys if you're looking for a trade. I'm busy here. We've been hearing some rumors on the CB. People out looking for supplies, getting robbed. Stuff like that. I see. And you're the law on this matter, are you? More like a concerned citizen. Well, your concern is noted. But we haven't had any problems here. We look after our own. And you wouldn't know anything about this, would you? Take a walk with me, will you? Let me see if I can't explain how things are. Funny thing about people, they don't much like to challenge their assumptions. Now me and my brother, we done pretty well for ourselves in all this. 
Other folks see that, and, well, it is in the character of very few men to honor without envy a friend who has prospered. Aeschylus said that, and an envious man is a man who will spread rumors about his neighbors. Right. Because normally, gun-running moonshiners are such upstanding citizens. Because we're businessmen. It's all about seeing the long game. Rob a man, and he'll give you what he's got in his pockets. You sell him what he wants, though, what he needs, and he'll keep on coming back to give you everything he has. Did Aeschylus say that, too? Here, let's ask Mickey. Mickey, our friend here is curious if we've been stealing from our fellow survivors. Seems there are rumors to that effect. <laughs> Shit. If we was, wouldn't be anybody to spread no rumors. See? Nothing to it. Now watch you run along, and if we hear anything, you'll be the first to know. Job denied it, but I'm pretty sure they know something about it, at least. Perfect. Our friends and neighbors. What should we do? I think for now, we just tell our runners to stay extra sharp. We don't want to antagonize the Wilkerson's if we don't have to. All right, I'll let everybody know. You watch yourself out there, too. <sighs> Cut it out. Okay, watch yourself out there. I think our defenses are okay, but I'm not sure I want to put them to the test. We might want to set up a few more outposts. Ah, give us a hand clearing this place out. We'll follow you. Let's move. Here we go. Looks pretty clear to me. Guess I've taken up enough of your time already. Take it easy. Say, you want to see just about the coolest way to kill Zeds ever? Okay, I'm free and clear. See you soon. Got anything good? I'll show you when I get there.
In position. Find yourself a good high vantage point. You're gonna be doing some spotting for us. <clears throat> See a horde, sing out. Package inbound, on your pause. I say again, on your pause. And we're done here. Enjoy your new smoking crater. Okay, I'm here. What now? Find yourself a good spot to get a bird's eye view. We have smoke. I say again, we have smoke. Package inbound, on your pause. I say again, on your pause. That's our load blown. You folks take care now. I'm picking something up. Anyone interested in creating a little distraction? Sounds like they're in a bad spot. I want to offer them a hand. I'm sending you the location now. Cut it out. Roger that. Just got word on the radio. Sounds like Doc's in some kind of trouble. Where's he at? According to the reports, he's up at the cemetery outside Spencer's Mills. Hope he's not expecting to find new patients. <laughs> 